Hey, good morning, Jacob. This is uh, an early morning demo video for you for your Fallen Order V2 by 89 Sabres uh, installed with a Profi V3. So let's go over my desk and take a closer look at it. This is an early morning demo video for you. Uh, for your Fallen Order V2, I believe, from 89 Sabres. Um, came in the mail yesterday, but was able to wrap it up early this morning for you. It is a two-button setup, so this little tactile switch you see back here, that's going to be your auxiliary switch, and this big guy right here, that's going to be your power switch. All right, you've got a KR Sabres, I think it's a V4 Eco Pixel in there, so that all lights up. I'll show you that here in a second. You must have kept your blade plug because I did not see it in the box. And another... Uh, small note about the 89 Sabres box that this thing came in. Uh, when this Sabre is fully assembled, it does not fit into the box. So um, I won't be sending the box. I'll just be sending the Sabre very wrapped up. All right. But to get to your chassis, you just want to unscrew the handle here. So slide right off. And this is what it looks like here. So it says Solo Sabres over here for me and Fallen Order over here in Arabesh. All right, you've got your Profi B3 up here. It is adhesed down to the shelf, but you can get to your SD card and your micro USB from right here. Uh, there's a kill switch right in front of the board. This is running my sound font for right now, uh, but there's a copy of the config file on the SD card as well. All right, um, a removable battery setup. So an 18, three, I'm sorry, 18650 keep power protected cell battery. Just put your battery in, clip it in just like that. All right, you have a 28 millimeter Smokers Outpost Elite speaker here, but I did put a single NeoPixel accent on the back like I like to do because uh, we can get some, some cool animation here, which I made this particular one look like broken circuitry. All right, so come over here and flip the switch. All right, then just put your handle on. Tighten it down all the way. Come over here and hit power. Now if I turn this off, you can kind of see what we've got going on here. It'll flicker on and off. Just kind of gives it the damaged impression. Okay? Your LEDs in there firing up very nicely. Auxiliary. And then you've got twist off. So this saber is designed to hold a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And of course your blade retention screw is right here. All right. Although this is being, this is a short test blade for me. Uh, the saber is programmed for a full length blade. If you want to change color, hold down power and hit aux. Whoops. Hold down aux and hit power. You do that every time you want to switch colors. Just hold down auxiliary, hit power. You'll cycle through different colors. No matter which one you land on though, you'll keep the broken circuitry effect down here. All right? And then you've got twist off to play your soundtrack, do a long press on the power. another long press to turn it off and then if you did have more than one font you would tap auxiliary to go to the next one <laughs> okay so we'll take the blade out we'll take our pummel off we can turn it on from here flip it off with the kill switch so that kills power like it should and then when you want to take your battery out do it from the positive side right here you can pop it out with your finger all right so that is basically how you work this falling saber uh, let me know if you have any questions and i will try my best to get this out in the mail to you today thanks man